listen up. It's just in. All the gossip. 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 The Rumor Report. Gossip. gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's The Rumor Report. The Breakfast Club. Issa Rae is on the cover for Rolling Stone, and she's talking about the inspiration behind her rap-ish comedy series. As you know, and I'm excited to see this, you know, this is actually going to start filming this summer. It'll be eight episodes from HBO Max, and it's also executive produced by uh, Coach K and P from Quality Control, as well as the City Girls. Hey. It's up. It's about two childhood friends trying to get in the rap game. It's loosely based on their lives, the city girls. And this is what inspired Issa Rae. It's Jermaine Dupree talking about women in hip hop. Do you have a favorite right now in the rap game? Cardi B, Nicki, Females? Megan yeah. Thee Stallion. Well, uh, I can't really say. <laughs> Not a Cardi B fan? <laughs> I have a, no, but you know the reason why I can't say is because I feel like they're all rapping about the same thing. And I don't feel like that. I don't think they're showing us who's the best rapper. It's like strippers rapping. And I don't, I don't, as far as rap goes, I don't, I'm not getting who is the best rapper. I don't know, bro, JT be snapping, bro. Drop on the clues bonds with JT from the city, girl. JT be snapping, Meg be snapping too. But JT be snapping, snapping. Yeah, I mean, it was a lot of controversy when Jermaine Dupree made those comments and Issa mm-hmm. Rae said, I was just like, this is so unfair. So that's what inspired her new show. Have I'm they started shooting that. yet? They start this summer. Man, I hope they cast Pretty V, man. Pretty V would be so perfect on that show. Drop on the clues bombs for Pretty V. But I can't wait to see what Issa cooks up. All right, now DMX will be honored at a public memorial service at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. So that's going to happen later on this month. And so, yeah. Just letting you guys know, because I know a lot of people have been saying, if I want to pay respect to DMX, how can I do that? So we'll have those details for you as they are coming in. They had a ride out this city this uh, Sunday where uh, Rough Riders had like a huge uh, borough to borough ride. I've seen a lot of people riding out this weekend for DMX. They had thousands of bikes out there. Right. And Meek Mill also said that he wants a ride out for DMX in the New York area uh, as well. So that's what he had said. And then there was. All right. In addition to that, DMX's fiance has opened up about her loss. Desiree Lindstrom is her name. And she posted the first night we met and you held me close. I knew I would never let go. I got I was lost in you and nothing else mattered. My best friend, my baby, my love, truly my everything. Thank you for us. Thank you for Exodus. Thank you, God, for Earl Simmons forever X. So she also has a, a large tattoo, which says dog love, which sits over a large X. So they have a four year old son together. Exodus. Mm hmm. So we want to send her so our sad, love and condolences Absolutely. as well. Definitely sending her healing energy. Now, Sharon Osbourne has done her first TV appearance since leaving uh, her daytime talk show. And she talks to Bill Maher on Real Time. Here's what she says. How are you? It's so many different things. I'm angry. I'm hurt. Who's the racist and why? I, this is what I'm trying to figure out. Me too. I've been called so many things in my life. I am so used to being called names, but a racist is one I will not take. I don't understand the other side of the argument there. In other words, like, you have to agree with everything Meghan Markle says or you're a racist? Uh, okay. I didn't watch that whole interview, but I'll be interested to see what actually happened with Bill Maher. And I don't know if that's what classified her as a racist because she didn't agree with Meghan Markle. I find it hilarious that uh, they keep saying that's the first time Sharon has spoken since this situation has happened. They just straight up erased Kevin Frazier's interview. And Kevin Frazier was out here caping for for, for Sharon Hall. Well, I think it's... They just erased him. We didn't know... When she did that interview, I, did, I don't think she was let go or left the show, the talk yet. So I think they're saying this is the first time oh, since, since she's leaving been the talk. Oh, since leaving the show, right? Oh, yeah. okay. All right. Yeah, so that news came out after that. All right, now Little Nas X, there was some backlash last week after a video surfaced of his mother soliciting money with a sign in Atlanta. And his father did come to his defense. And, you know, now he also has said, I hate speaking on my personal life, but y'all don't know how many nights I've cried myself to sleep feeling guilty because nothing I tried would help my mom. Paint me as the bad guy all you want, but at the end of the day, you know me outside of this, you don't know me outside of this internet ish. So if y'all saw that video and people were saying, yeah, oh, look at how Little Nas X. And that was whack and for I the dude really... that did that, man. Whoever taped his mom like that, that, that was whack. That was totally whack. 
All right, and little Nas X also answered some questions that kids had about coming out of the closet, and it was posted on a recent episode of the YouTube show Arts and Raps. Here's what it sounded like. What does it mean to come out of the closet? It means you're like, hey, everybody, I'm this thing, and you guys didn't even know that, but now you know. Why are people in the closet in the first place? We think about what other people think about us. <laughs> so once we tell somebody we're this thing or that thing, their mind shifts completely, and it doesn't, it doesn't matter how close you are to them or whatever. All right, I think, and you know, he put out a new t-shirt line. I don't know if you guys had a, a chance to see this, but one of the shirts says, um, I heart Jesus, and then under it it says, and that one part in the Montero music video by Little Nas X when he gets nasty with the devil because it was a cool form of self-expression in art. Nigga, and then what? he has another shirt. <laughs> yeah. That's all <laughs> on a t-shirt? Yes, and then he has another shirt that says, I watched the Montero video by Little Nas X and all I got was this lousy shirt and now I'm also gay and love Satan. <laughs> so those are- What? <laughs> All that ain't on no damn the damn T-shirt. Why you just be making stuff yes, up for Rumor Report, ye? It is. I'm looking I at the shirt. I don't believe. Show me. It. Send it to the group chat. How does all that fit okay. on a T-shirt? It's a smaller print underneath because it's got to be tiny as hell. Then, <laughs> then underneath, it's really small. But yes, that was what do y'all think about now. that? That was true. I watched the Montero video. <laughs> I just thought about myself in some gray sweatpants. Everything you said just could apply to me in gray sweatpants. What tiny as hell? Tiny print. Print small as hell. Oh, pookie, pookie, mm. pookie. Mini me. Getting nasty with the devil. Never. All right, well, that is... <laughs> Enough for that. You said everything I said. Nope. All right, well, that is your rumor report. Goodness gracious. All right. God damn, it's a real T-shirt. It's like the thing that they... I told you. You know, when you look at the, uh, the, the, the doctor's office and you got to do the eye test? That's yep, what that's the T-shirt exactly what looks like. like. All right. Well, who are you giving that donkey to, man? Uh, we need a young woman named Liliana Carrillo to come to the front of the congregation talking about dancing with the devil or playing with the devil or dealing with the devil. This is all the devil. We'll talk about it for after the hour. All right. We'll get into that next. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. 